Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I have another food review video. Today, we're having dinner at Chubby Cattle Mongolian Hot Pot House. And they also have a conveyor belt with some vegetables. So everybody gets their own hot pot, which I really like that because then you can add whatever vegetable, whatever meat you want in your own like, hot pot. So here is the menu. We have the cocktail menu, alcoholic drinks. We have beer. We have sake, um, wine as well. And then here is the soup base. So you can choose half, like two soup bases or just one full. And what we usually get is the mushroom hot pot. It's our favorite. Um, the soup base is a bit plain, but we got like some mushrooms in there. And then you can order like a mushroom basket or order some more vegetables to put in there. We have some Wagyu meat, Japanese A5 Wagyu, um, a basket. We have some short ribs, lamb. And then this is going to be some noodles, meatballs, vegetables, like basically other side dishes you want to add to your hot pot, um, corn, imitation crab, seafood, mixed mushroom basket. Um, and then this is going to be like a combo. So they have a family combo, uh, but we don't do the combo. We just order whatever kind of meat whatever kind of basket we want to order since you know some of these items on this menu we don't want they also have a combo for two as well and yeah we didn't do this we have a family of six and we just order individually and we all share the same like basket of meats so they have a sauce station and this is actually my first time ever getting a sauce usually my dad makes it for me he like grabs like a little bit of everything but i decided to make my own this time so i will have to say i added too much of this paste so this is the sesame paste i added way too much but later on i did add like some soy sauce make it a little bit more um salty because it was a bit too sweet um so i added the sesame paste and then i added some soy sauce definitely should have added more soy sauce in the beginning um but yeah it's really nice that you can make your own you know to your own tasting i also added some garlic a lot a lot of garlic i love garlic but honestly i really couldn't really taste it in my sauce so yeah i guess it was just kind of a hidden um additive um and then i also got some uh, let's see what's next oh this is going to be peanut butter so i only added a little bit of this very very little you don't want it to be too too pe peanut peanutty <laughs> um but yeah it's really easy to make your own sauce just grab whatever you think you would like and it would be a great combo just check tiktok or instagram for some sauce ideas and i also got some i believe this is sesame oil just a little bit not um, a huge fan of too much oil in my sauces and i also got some chili oh some sugar first and then i added some chilies um just a little hint of some spice i do love um a hint of spice some spicy food a spicy sauce um but yeah then then one more thing to my sauce just gonna add some greens i decided to add some cilantro um but yeah that is my sauce super easy um yeah i should have added some hoisin sauce i think that would have been great but next time, I will definitely be better and a pro at my sauce. And then they finally brought our hot pot out. So everybody gets their own hot pot and your own stove. So you can make it like higher or lower, whatever kind of temperature you want it to be. I also did end up adding some of the soup base to my sauce. So definitely add some soup to your sauce. So we got some mushrooms in there since we did get the mushroom hot pot. So we got the enoki mushrooms and I think some like... Um, oyster mushrooms so i'm going to dip my enoki mushroom into my sauce it was a bit too thick so later on i did add some more of the soup base and some like soy sauce but it was so good enoki mushrooms are my favorite mushrooms and you guys it is winter time so it is a great time to eat hot pot definitely recommend coming here it's really good you can also reserve on yelp or call them online or call them uh for the phone number we also got some corn udon noodles and some soft tofu so going to put my corn in there and then some tofu and also some of the udon noodles so yeah everything was really really good and really fresh as well 
and just going to add some of the udon noodles in i think it's great to eat some kind of like noodle with the soup because it's very very healthy and the soup just has like all those like nutrients in it you know the vegetables the mushrooms um the sweet corn and also the meat later on we also got a mushroom basket and there are so many yummy mushrooms enoki mushrooms oyster mushrooms um I don't really know what the other ones are called but i call it like scallop mushrooms so i'm going to try some of the tofu so this one is soft tofu and you guys this tofu is the softest tofu i've ever had whenever we eat hot pot at home we always get so silken tofu but this one was like the softest one i've ever had and it was really good make sure to blow first because you don't want to burn your tongue but it was amazing it just like melted it dissolved in my mouth it was so good. I am drooling right now. I would love to eat some tofu right now. It is amazing. Had to get another bite. Don't forget really to blow on it. Highly recommend. Make sure to get tofu. And I'm just going to put some udon into my bowl. Um, I have to say the udon wasn't really my favorite. I think I would have preferred like noodles instead. So some meats. We got lamb. And then we also have um, wagyu chuck roll. And I will have to say all the meats were really good. They were all really soft and they are cut very thinly. Then we have some Wagyu short rib. This one is very marbled, marbleized. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to show you guys when I uh, cook it. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so I'm going to try the lamb first. And the lamb is really, really good. It did take a while to cook at first because I put my temperature a little bit lower, but it wasn't too bad. Then I'm going to try it, and it was really good. It was really soft. Um, lamb does have a bit of a smell to it, so if you guys don't like like your meat with smells, lamb isn't for you. I would recommend like the other meats, like Wagyu chuck roll was really good. Um, wagyu uh, beef tongue is good as well, or the short ribs. And it has like a lot of fat, so make sure to cook that. <laughs> and I'm going to try it. Very good as well. I just love the meat. I'm also a meat lover, so I'm a huge fan of hot pots since there's like a lot of different kind of meats that you can get and order and dip into the sauce. Now I'm going to try the Wagyu, I believe this is the Wagyu short rib, I think. A lot of meats, so it can be very, very confusing. Um, but yeah, these pieces are really, really big, um, but they don't take too long to cook i mean if you put your temperature really high it'll cook super quickly um then i'm going to try it very good and even though there's like some fat in it it's not going to be like chewy at all and then this is wagyu beef tongue beef tongue is my favorite when we go like barbecue um this one cooks really fast like make sure if it's still red just take it out because it's still hot so it will cook once you take it out of the water so yeah i did kind of overcook that one a little bit but it was really good these are cooked super, super thinly, so you have to cook it very, very fast and take it out. But yeah, my overall thoughts, I really love this place. It's so good, great, especially great for winter. I give Chubby Cattle a 5 out of 5 stars. And yeah, it's just a really great review and a great restaurant to go to. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!